Hello everyone, I'm Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks and today I'm going to be making a showcase storage cabinet is what we're going to call it. Stick around. Alright, for our showcase storage cabinet I'm going to be using red oak. I'm going to use red oak 3 quarter inch plywood. Uh, for the main cabinet carcass and then the doors and the face frame all the solid wood pieces will be solid wood red oak. Um, the back piece of the carcass is going to be 48 by 36 inches. The good thing is the 4 by 8 sheet of plywood I already have one measurement I just need to cross cut it at 36 inches. Um, I'm going to do that with a circular saw on my workbench since it's a little too big to do on my table saw. So let's get to work. <music> We now have our 48 inch by 36 inch back panel cut to size. Now I'm gonna head over to the table saw and cut the side pieces of the cabinet as well as the top, the shelf, and the bottom piece. Most of these are gonna be eight inches wide and then the length and the height will depend on whether they're the side or the top piece. Let's go to the table saw. Alright, I've now ripped down all these strips to be 8 inches wide. There's a total of 5 of them. That's two, uh, one for each side, the top, the bottom, and the shelf. Now I need to cross cut these to length on my miter saw. Alright, now I have all my pieces cut and we're going to be working on some pocket holes. The back panel is going to get pocket holes on both the sides and then um, the bottom. Uh, or I'm sorry, the top. The um, side panels are going to just get pocket holes on the back and then the shelf and the bottom panel will both get pocket holes on the back and both sides and I think that's it. Let's get to work. All right, I've now put pocket holes in the back panel and the shelf piece, and I'm gonna start assembly. Everything else um, will just be with uh, butt joints and screws on the top and the bottom, you won't see them. So let's start assembling everything. The cabinet carcass is now complete. It's time to make a face frame. I'm going to make the face frame using solid red oak. I'm going to make them probably two inches wide. There's going to be one on the top, bottom uh, for the rails. There's going to be styles on the side, one right here um, in the, on the shelf, and then there'll be a center one for the doors to close against. So let me get cutting those down. We're going to join them together with pocket holes, uh, but first let's start ripping them down and cutting them down to size. I have now finished making the face frame and I made the face frame with pocket holes on the back. Now I'm going to affix the face frame to the cabinet. The way that I'm going to do it is just with brad nails, pin nails, um, going through the face frame into the cabinet carcass. If you don't want to do that, you could install pocket holes on the cabinet here and then drill you know, back this direction into the face frame if you wanted to do that. Um, I don't want to do that because I don't want to be able to see the pocket holes. I want it to look more finished and puttying or filling the nail head, nail holes will be easier for me, but that's totally up to you. So I'm going to work on that now and then we'll be ready to make the drawer and the doors. Alright, 
our cabinet carcass and face frame is now complete and secured to each other. The next thing I'm gonna do is work on making the drawer. I might do this out of half inch plywood. Um, if not, I'll use three quarter. There's nothing wrong with doing it out of three quarter. Normally you would just do it with half inch. I'll see um, how much of each material that I have and that'll determine it. Um, this face frame is two inches wide. The, obviously the plywood's only three quarters, so there's an inch and a quarter gap here that I'll have to fill um, with a block or something just for the drawer slides to be flush to the face frame. So I'm gonna work on the drawer now. All right, so my drawer box is built. I've installed the blocking inside of here for the drawer slides to attach to. And I have these little six inch drawer slides, um, full extension that I'm gonna use for making this, uh, for mounting this box. So let's get busy on mounting the drawer to the cabinet. So the drawer front is now installed. After I stain it, I will install some uh, handle pulls on here. Since it's so long, it can rack kind of easily, but I think once I install two evenly spaced handles, that'll help with that. Um, now that that's done, I'm gonna be working on making some doors for this. I'm gonna be using glass. Actually, I'm gonna be using acrylic plexiglass for the doors. So the only thing I'm really gonna to need to make out of wood is the rails and styles for the door. I'm gonna have them be a quarter inch overlay on this also. So the rails will be a, a half inch larger than this opening. That'll allow a quarter on each side. Same for the top. And then I'll just have to subtract out for the styles based on the size of my rails, as well as a tongue and groove um, for you know a tenon on the rails. So I'm gonna be working on milling up some wood, cutting it to length, width, all that sort of stuff to make some cabinet doors for this. All right, I now have a slot cutting bit installed in my uh, router table. I have the fence set at a half inch depth. So the slot cutting bit is one quarter inch thick. That'll accept, that's the thickness of the plexiglass I'm gonna install. And then I have it to a half inch depth so it will go half inch into the wood. Um, so now I'm gonna take all my rails and styles, cut the bit in there, and then I will raise and lower this bit to cut the um, female portion of that tongue and groove or tenon mortise um, to allow for the ends of the styles to go into the rails. But first, let me cut the groove in all of the pieces. So I've now um, dry fitted my rails and styles. I haven't glued them in yet, but I have dry fitted in and I have my panels here. Again, I'm using plexiglass, but you can use real glass for this. Um, I'm gonna now just put a dab of glue at each one of these joints. I'm not gonna glue the entire panel in there because it doesn't need to be. It can, it can wiggle around and be fine as long as the joint's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna glue this up, let it dry, and uh, we'll be ready to go to put the doors on.
All right, so my doors are now complete. The glue has dried. The panel still moves, um, but that's what I want. I'll worry about cleaning this up later because I'm gonna stain this, and if any gets on here, I'll have to clean the stain off. What I'm gonna do now is um, going around and start puttying and filling the nail holes, sanding everything. If I need to clean up any edges, that sort of stuff. Um, once the the putty or the or the wood filler dries on on the filler um, on the on the nail holes, then I'll be ready to start staining. So let's work on filling sanding and staining. Everything is stained and um, has a coat of shellac on it. Before I install the doors, I'm gonna make some pegs for the items that I'm gonna be storing. Um, this is just a storage showcase cabinet, but um, as you might've noticed by the design, the items that I'm gonna be storing in mine happen to look like this. Um, I'm just not saying what they are. It's just an item that I'm storing in here. You can store whatever you'd like. That's what this cabinet I'm making it for. I'm gonna make little pegs for my items. Um, they're gonna be with these little black screws here. So basically it's gonna go through the backer board and that will hold my items up to display, display on showcase. So now I'm gonna work on laying out all my items where I would like for them to go, start drilling some holes and installing the pegs. So I now have all of my pins installed to hold my items. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do before I put the doors on is to install some lights behind the face frame shining back on that to truly showcase it. Um, then I'll have a wire going out the bottom where I can plug it into an outlet. I have these little LED strip lights and I'm gonna put those around the inside. Um, so let's work on installing some lights. Alright, now that I have the lights installed, I'm ready to install my doors. And the way I'm going to do this is with concealed style hinges, European style concealed hinges. Um, ignore my dog making a lot of noise and commotion, but um, you could also do this with um, any style hinges that you like. I'm just deciding to use the concealment style hinges. I'm going to use the Craig concealed hinge jig. I'll leave a link for that down in the description if you'd like to pick one up. Um, I'm going to set it at three millimeters spacing off the edge of the face frame. And the reason I'm doing this is because we have that half inch overlay or half inch um, inside overlay of the glass. And I don't want to go into the glass too much. The good thing is I use plexiglass. So if it cuts into that, I'm not worried about it. If you used real glass, maybe be careful um, using that because you don't want to chip or crack or shatter that glass. Um, uh, if you, if you want to use real glass and you still want to use the concealed style hinge jig, um, the concealed style hinges, you just need to make your cabinet rails and styles a little bit wider. I think we made ours two inches, maybe make them three inches or four inches, even if you wanted to, um, just to uh, truly avoid that. Um, if you use a wooden panel here, here instead of glass, you could, uh, you could just use the hinge jig, no problem. But I think I'm going to be okay with that. We're going to give it a shot. If not, I'll figure out something else. So I now have the doors installed. I cleaned off the glass a little bit. Once uh, I'll clean it again before I install it. But 
Now I'm gonna use, now I'm gonna install some door knobs and two handle pull, um, two drawer handles here and two door knobs. I'm gonna do that using the um, cabinet hardware installation jig from True Position Tools. I'll leave a link for this down in the description. This is an awesome product um, that is dead accurate for installing cabinet hardware. I made an entire video about this. You, I'll leave a link up in the corner for you to see uh, to go watch that video as well. But I'll leave a link for this product in the description. But pick one up. Um, they're a great company, American made, and uh, their hardware is American made, and it's a super easy jig to use. But anyways, I'm gonna install two cabinet door pulls, uh, one on each door, and then two drawer pulls here. So we're gonna work on the hardware, and then we'll be done. All right, I now have my hardware installed. This project is now complete. All I need to do is mount it on the wall. You can, um, eventually I'll have plans for this on my website that you can pick up if you'd like to build this for yourself. Hope you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find this project and more on my website at www.rockyriverwoodworks.com. You can find me on social media across all platforms at Rocky River WW. I'm Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks. Thank you for watching.